Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak regarding Warped's tips and tricks which is accessible for every kind of player. I still see that there is a lot of mistakes regarding Warped system, that's why I decided to, to speak more deeply about the details and to give you guys a small tips to how to utilize the Warped system. First of all, let's speak about Warpets in general and first and may, one of the main tips is to understand which Warpet is you should be using on your certain Legion type, right? At first, let's speak about um, mages and it's pretty obvious that there is a couple of mage uh, Warpets which is Sapphire Fedric, uh, Shadow Fedric, um, Ice Lizard and Sunder Lizard. Of course, there is like only two choices regarding like a mage Warpets which is uh, Sapphire Fairdrake and Shadow Fairdrake. This is the only two warpets, uh, mage warpets, which you should be uh, choosing if you are a mage player or if you want to attach uh, Mage Legion, the warpet, which will be suitable for them uh, mostly. Uh, regarding like Sandal Lizard and Ice Lizard, I think they are the one of the worst warpets in general in the game, and I would not be advising you guys to try to build around your mages for the from the Ice Lizard and the Sandal Lizard. In terms of uh, infantry, uh, there is a couple of choices, uh, and uh, these are Frost Bear, uh, Stripe Bear, uh, Bruin Bear, uh, Sand Lizard also. Uh, so you have way more choices in terms of uh, uh, infantry warpets which you can choose uh, in my opinion the best one is Bruin Bear but the, the Bruin Bear is especially great with the Goresh and Skull Ghoul. Uh, Frost Bear will be great with any Legion uh, with the Madeline because she has a shield breaking and shield in general and the Frost Bear's main skill is all about like breaking the shield. Uh, Stripe Bear is great with Garwood, anything with healing, same with Sand Lizard so you know why, uh, on which hero pairs you can choose the warpeds whenever you are going to build the warped for exact uh, hero pair. In terms of marksmen, there is like um, honestly there is three choices and uh, all of them are kinda good. First is Nitrock. Nitrock will be amazing for Syndrion hero pairs, Syndrion and Fragar of course. Uh, Snowpeak Rock is great only on Nico and Kinara because of the defense break which both of the heroes has in their play kit. And the last one is Sand Lizard. Sand Lizard is generally like uh, great with many, many different hero pairs in the game. Uh, but in terms of marksman, uh, Sand Lizard has a great healing. Uh, and in, in general, whenever you are alive longer, you are dealing more damage. That's why Sand Lizard can be utilized in the marksman section. In terms of cavalry, uh, there is like Berserker Fade Rake, uh, which is uh, quite a good uh, cavalry. Warped is especially great with Emrys, uh, and there is Golden Rock. Uh, well, Golden Rock is great with Emrys too. In general, like I think Cavs are one of the weakest Legion type in the game, uh, and the only two uh, good cavalry warpeds are Berserker Fedric and uh, Golden Rock. What's left, in my opinion, there is one uh, like Venomous Lizard, which you can actually play with anything. Venomous Lizard is overall like a type of uh, a warpet which is dealing damage with poison in my opinion best way of utilizing venomous lizard would be with infantry because infantry stays alive longer uh, and you are uh, dealing more damage with poison taking damage whenever you are alive uh, and you have more time to uh, apply this poison uh, more and more so it's pretty easy to understand mage player sapphire fedric shadow fedric marksman snowy croak nitrock infantry bruin bear uh, frost bear or venomous Lizard, Cavalry, Berserker, Fedric, uh, Golden Rock. Uh, that's the uh, warpets which I like. Sometimes I still see people choosing the wrong warpets for their hero pairs. That's the main tip. Now let's start with the second tip uh, in terms of warped system and warpets. Uh, like it's pr pretty easy to understand, but I will still mention it as a tip. Uh, attributes matters, right? Like attributes are one of the most important aspects uh, for the warped system in general first of all let me uh, answer the question why right 
uh, every single attribute which uh, any warped has is connected to the skill uh, and not every single attribute is important for any particular uh, warped right for example let's say you know, let, let's speak about sapphire frederick right for sapphire frederick intelligence and spirit is the most valuable uh, attributes you need to have on s tier right like every single skill which you're gonna apply on sapphire frederick they are connected with uh, intelligence with spirit and some of them are luck which means like three main uh, attributes for the sapphire frederick is intelligence spirit and luck uh, try your maximum to get these three um, attributes to the S tier because S tier is the highest amount of tier which gonna give you highest amount of stats for your skills which gonna bring, make your warped like 10 times stronger like difference is pretty huge uh, S tier you can see what's the amount of uh, stats you are getting on a C tier and you can see how much stats you are getting on a S tier that's the second tip now let's move on to third tip which is one of the most most important tip in my opinion right the third tip is about is about skills and the stars of the skill my all my always main advice would be that don't start building your warped if you don't have at least one star on your main skill this one star gives us a lot of advantages and lot more stats in terms of a skill set and in terms of how you will be building your warped in general that's the one of the most important advices and tips that i can give you uh, to try to upgrade the main talent which is like for example for sapphire fade rake is pain bloom uh, for night rock is ravage uh, for snow peak rock is concentration try to have at least one star and whenever you have a one star on your main skill after that you are going to build your warped from the scratch uh, like anytime you, you see your warped having one star on your main skill it means that your warped is ready to get built right that's one of the best advices and of course after the introduction of uh, upgrading the skills of the any skill like stars of the any skill it got even much much easier for you guys and for me too to uh by just playing the game to upgrade the stars of the skill uh that's one of the most important uh tips which i can give you right in terms of skills let's go to the third um, or fourth tip which uh, we are right now uh i'm gonna stay in terms of skills of the warpets and let's say uh, like there is a lot of skills in general in terms of warpets right like for example uh, every single warped has a chance to get a lot of amount of uh, skills which some of them are great some of them are like pretty bad and some of them are really really bad in order for you guys to understand which uh, skills will be great for any particular uh, warped i will tell you like one by one with every single uh legion type which skills are priority in general in terms of marksman right for marksman in my opinion one of the best uh, skill synergy besides the talent synergies are chain strike chain strike is one of the best if not the best secondary synergy for the marksman warpeds doesn't matter it's night rock or snow peak rock both of them will be running with a chain strike Chain Strike is giving us a 50% chance to deal additional damage when dealing physical normal attack damage. In general, marksmen are prioritizing normal attack damage like most of the time, so you are having a best synergy possible for your legion type, which is marksman. In general, like I think for Nitrock and uh, Snow Peak Rock, Chain Strike Shinner synergy is the first priority besides uh, the main talent skill, right? In terms of mages, right? In, like besides main talent skill synergies i think uh, follow-up is the main priority to go for uh, because it just gives us a lot of things which we like on our mages right like 40 percent chance to cast a warped mage rate skill again uh two seconds after first one casting so i don't need to speak more why follow-up is so good uh, I think for both of the main uh, mage uh, warpets, uh, follow-up synergy is the best one besides the talent uh, skill synergies. 
in terms of infantry like for example i will show my venomous lizard uh in terms of infantry there is one main synergy skill uh which is counter attack counter strike counter strike is currently the best infantry secondary uh, talent synergy beside the main talents well counter strike simply gives us like when when your legion is hit with a normal attack they have a 50 percent chance to deal damage to the attacker well it's pretty obvious it's a best uh, skill synergy uh, for infantry players because that's the way you are getting merits and that's the way you are getting damage in general whenever you are playing with the uh, infantry uh, in terms of cavalry, uh, well, uh, cavalry is Golden Rock and Berserker Frederick, uh, and uh, besides Exuberance, the main synergy, I think the one of the best uh, synergies in general uh, for the cavalry players is Fierce Attack. Why cavalries in general are dealing damage by their uh, like rage accumulation and dealing skill damage as much as possible? First, at uh, first attack gives us that your warpet has a 40% chance to deal damage to the target when your deputy casts a rage kill and in general cavalry hero pairs are dealing most uh, rage skill damage and the fastest than any other legion type that's why i think uh first attack synergy with super first attack and the third one uh, should be here uh let me check super first attack and uh, let's 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 get it well there is a third one actually uh it's a first it's a first attack super first attack and i'm not seeing the third one uh it should be somewhere here and maybe you guys will find it uh by yourself it's something like a uh, red one uh, not blue super first attack is a blue one and the third one is uh, quite pinkish that's the first tip which i will be giving you in terms of uh, skills of the uh, warpets which are the main skills which are the secondary priority skills and i hope i won't gonna see the mistakes on a uh, people's legions whenever they are playing with mages and they are using snow peak rock or maybe they are they choose the correct sapphire Frederick, but their skill are pretty bad in terms of uh, for five tip, uh, like what we should do uh, with the uh, skills we don't want to use in terms of like priority skills right of course you will be able to have a lot of skills which are not that important which you are not going to use them like uh, let's see yeah this is the first attacks uh, third synergy skill forceful first attack and uh, like tranquility is quite good for a sand lizard and i would be still uh keeping the tranquility there is some skills which is great as an additional skills for example for mages it's resonance like warped skill magic damage tilt uh 2.2 quite a good scale skill to have on your mage warped right but in general other skills such as like gentle breeze go guardian of oath uh such as like for example uh both from the blue like i don't see any play Place where these skills will be valuable for your warpets and my main idea with them is to just sell them to get as much coins as possible uh, simply because with these coins you will be able to upgrade your uh, main talent skills which I have already done with my forceful ravage it was one star and yesterday I made it to the second star so any other skills which you are not going to use try to sell them and try to collect the uh, coins with which you will be upgrading your prior uh, skills which you have already decided right uh, as always i will say once again uh, these are the tips for the players who i have seen the mistakes made by the warped system i understand for a newcomers it might be pretty awkward to know which heroes and which skills and which attributes are main priority and i hope this video will be more and more and much more helpful for you guys to understand that the system is pretty easy at first you need to understand those simple details and after that it won't be a much of a problem for you to decide uh, which warpets will be great and which warpets you should not be using at all uh, i hope you like the video like this is the tips which uh, uh, i have decided to uncover and to tell you guys i hope you like the video i hope you like the content i'm trying to make if you do press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make a uh, more content for this amazing game um, i hope you are having a great day morning or night wherever you are uh, we are going to see each other very very soon uh, goodbye and good luck bye bye